If you want to watch this spooky Halloween balloon garland come to life, keep watching. Hi guys, welcome to Fly High Balloons Creation DIY Spooky Halloween Organic Balloon Garland Tutorial. My name is Deborah. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a fantastic and spooky Halloween themed balloon garland. It is a fun and simple project that will add the perfect touch to your Halloween decor. So let's get started. In this Halloween creation, I will be using my electrical balloon pump, Simple Text brand balloons, fashion black, orange, and orchid purple. Sizes are 18 inches, 11 inches, and 5 inches. These cute little bats to attach to the garland using my glue dashes. I first will begin by inflating seven 11 inch balloons and one 18 inch balloon and creating clusters of eight. And I will repeat this process until I have enough clusters to build my garland. See the way this balloon has this coney shape? You will take it and press down, slowly releasing the air to give it that nice round shape. Inflate your balloons to different sizes this will give your garland that organic look. Take and wrap, twice and tie. We'll take the balloon, cross, and wrap twice or three times to create cords. You would take both quads, bring them together, taking one balloon from each quad and twisting them together. Mm -hmm. 
creating a cluster. All I am doing here is making small clusters and mini clusters to attach to the actual base of the garland to make it fuller. By the way, guys, to attach the garland, I will be using my arch backdrop frame with white spandex cover that I attached a super cute spooky Halloween photo backdrop onto using safety pins. I wanted to show you guys how I use the safety pins to attach the photo backdrop. I also use my weights for this backdrop frame because I noticed that the frame kept moving a lot when I was attaching the garland and the weights solved the problem. All I am doing here is taking a 260 and tying it together into a knot, making a rubber band and putting it in the mouth of the backdrop clamp to loop it around the balloon. Now that I have my clusters twisted together, I am going to take the neck and tie them together to build my garland.
I'm just taking the rubber band and looping it around the back balloon of the garland. That top balloon was giving me a hard time, I tell you. <laughs> I am just adjusting the garland and attaching more clusters to lengthen the garland. Once your garland is securely in place, step back and make any necessary adjustments to the balloons and the overall shape. At the bottom of the garland, I want it to be much thicker. So I am adding a cord to each side of the garland using three 11 inch balloons and one 18 inch balloon to make it much thicker. Now I am attaching the small cords by tying them to the necks of the clusters to make the garland much fuller. Here, I'm no longer tying the necks. I am just twisting in my quads. I apologize guys to make my garland bigger at the bottom I use a cluster of eight and that black on one side and a quad on the other side in the orange here I made a mini garland using two clusters at the bottom and one quad at the top
Here I am using rubber bands to assemble the mini balloon clusters to attach to the garland to fill in gaps. And I also think that the mini clusters give the garland that wow factor. What you think, guys? And please excuse the spider webs on my pants. <laughs> I'm going to add these bats using my glue dashes to assemble them to attach to the garland. And I added some spider webs and fake spiders to give the garland that extra spooky touch. And there you have it. You have created a fantastic spooky Halloween organic balloon garland to spookify your space. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more DIY ideas. Thanks for watching and have a blessed hunterly Halloween. If you have any questions, please let us know and we will see you in our next video. Bye.